Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is really exciting day. I got my new fishing rod for trout fishing. If you don't want to listen about how I got delivered this fishing rod, how I bought the price and the specs, you can skip a bit further where I will start fishing with it and actually will show the real life how it works with fishing rod. I know a lot of people have questions the costs, the effort for buying Japanese tackle, JDM, ta JDM tackle and getting into England and paying um, what? Oh yeah, custom, uh, custom charges. It came straight from Japan. It was quite a lot of hassle to get it because nowhere in Europe I can get this. I couldn't get this fishing rod or uh, in a couple places they were selling, but price was like 670 euros, somewhere 800 euros. So I did find in Japan, in one shop on a discount, this fishing rod did cost uh, 250 pound, but they were not sending to England. So I used the um, world shopping website they charge, I think, 25 pound for service, a uh, few pound for uh, delivery within Japan from this shop to uh, World Shopping Warehouse. So altogether it came about 300 pound. At the time I bought this fishing rod, there was a couple days of um, bank holidays, some national holiday days in Japan. It took, I think, uh, about a week to get from this uh, shop to World Shopping uh, J Japan uh, warehouse in Tokyo. Then I had to pay 25 pound for this company, World Shopping, to deliver to England. From Japan I was traveling uh, to England only two days. That was super quick. And then it took another, I think, about a week to get from England to here because it has to go through customs and, uh, of course, delivery time, two days. And uh, I have all information in here how much it costs for me. So import duty for this fishing rod, £5.19, VAT £52.95 and uh, it was handled by Parcel for Parcel Force. <laughs> yeah, Parcel Force. 12 quid. So altogether 70 pounds on top of what I paid for fishing rod. So altogether it came up for me about well what is it? About 380 pounds, 390 pounds for this fishing rod. It is a bit far from original price what I paid, 250 pounds from original price in Japan but comparing to the price I would pay in Europe, which was from 670 euros up to 800 euros, and I seen somewhere even more expensive, ridiculous. I saved quite a lot of money. So when I was searching for this fishing rod in Japan, on a Google search, I entered um, give results only from Japan and websites I was looking for this fishing rod, I had just to do copy paste into translator and that way I understood what we are writing. That's how it was packed in Japan. I think that's the shop I bought from, I guess. That is all uh, custom charges and handling fees. And actually, I learned a lot of Japanese. That means fragile. <laughs> and now the scariest part to check. Has everything arrived safe and in one piece? Well, it's two piece rod. So in two healthy pieces. Ha! Let's get it done. Put slowly and careful with shaking hands. That is by far most expensive fishing rod I ever purchased. 
Okay. That is nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. And let's open sticky tape. <laughs> and the wrap unwrapping is happening. Rubbish in. And this is my Japanese handmade fishing rod. Tenryu Ray Spectra RS there. RZS 61 LL. It's 1 meter 86 centimeter or 6.1 feet. 70 gram 74 gram weight and casting weight is one to eight grams. The sleeve itself feels very nice, very nice. I like it. Ooh, opens, something else opens. Ooh, that is something. I think it's a warranty. And they do warranty for lifetime, these rods, but because I bought from Japan and it came here, I'm sure I don't have any warranty. Oh, it, actually there is instructions how to assemble, how to put together two pieces. <laughs> okay, that, let's put on the side, hide the knife. Nothing more in this sleeve, in this part of the sleeve. Just look at that. All handmade. Premium cork, premium wood, hook keeper. And uh, it is a black color, but in bright sunshine, it is a bit purplish. It has a rubber thing around here just to protect from scratching. Ray Spectra model, twitching custom, length 6.1 foot, lure 1 to 8 grams, and line 1 to 5 pound. Okay, that is first piece. And that is a second piece. Oops. Yeah. Nice, flexible. I'll read a bit from my phone because I can't remember everything. It is parabolic rod and action is regular and rod power is LL. I'm not even sure it counts as an ultra light or a light or something in between. Rod weight is 74 grams. Carbon and glass ratio is 95% of carbon and 5% of glass. This rod is the premium from their line. I think the highest line of their trout rods. What is interesting, it has waist quite soft, this part of the rod, and they have um, And we have a CNT, carbon nanotube, this part, which is a new technology and it is way stronger. So I have totally two flexibilities in this part and this part. This part should absorb shakes really well. And this part is supposed to have a lot of backbone to fight and turn around the bigger fish in a faster running water. CNT carbon basically is a new way of making carbon. It basically getting infused with some different materials inside of the carbon, which gives more flexibility and, and more strength. So it is 
stronger than a normal carbon and supposingly should be more flexible. But that we will check on our fishing days. When you put rod together with two dots, so we easily can see that fishing rod is aligned perfectly. All these guides, we are titanium with uh, torsite inserts, which supposed to be lighter, more durable, and the torsite inserts, they are very expensive things, but the line should slide better, less friction, and casting ability should be slightly better. How much better? We will see. Let's put together. Let's put together. Yeah, I can feel this boot part is very strong, but it has flexibility. <laughs> and this part, it has such a light flexibility. Such a nice flexibility. It bends all from a boot. And then one, two, three, four, four, four guy, one, two, three gaps between, first gaps between the guides are way more flexible. Fourth gap, a bit sturdier and getting sturdier, sturdier, sturdier. So it should work and hold fish incredibly well. I think it's all to do with ratio between uh, carbon, glass, and this CNT carbon, which CNT, I imagine it has more carbon in here and a bit more glass in the tip, I guess, but I'm not sure about that. It feels amazing. Can't wait. Can't wait to try. I was watching some videos how Japanese are casting and that is totally different from the way we are casting. With this rod, I must learn a proper way of Japanese casting techniques because they are amazing. They require just a little bit of space. So if I'm surrounded by bushes, trees, I should be able to cast anywhere I want, from anywhere I want. I hope that helped to any of you. And uh, yeah, if you like, press like and don't forget to subscribe this channel. And now it's time to check this rod out in a real life situation. So let's go fishing. Look at this spot, it looks perfect, must be, must be some trout and I think should be some big ones. Yep, good one. Uh, how about that? Uh, came off. Uh, I think it got snagged somewhere. Oh, yeah, cut my line, cut my lure off. Oh, that was insane fish. Can't believe that was a giant. You seen my reel just screamed, and then I felt so something weird in my reel, but it was just because that it got over snagged and it caught my line. No, such a big trout, and uh, I hope 
Well, it is Barbla's hook, so hopefully this trout will be alright. When, when Lure landed, then took one time, hit another time, and I think on the second or third time, took properly. And not sad only that, I lost one of my favorite lures, which one is quite hard to get in this color. Just this one is, what, 56, 55 millimeters, and the never was 72 millimeters. <sighs> bye bye to lure, bye bye to trout. At least I hope this trout will be alright. Yep, next cast and uh, another big fish. N not as big of. Oh, this rod has quite a lot of backbone. Oh, come. Whoa! I said not as big. I think that is over half meter. That is a giant trout. On a second cast, I lost one giant. Come on, uh, I need to get closer. Please stay, stay, stay on the hook. Fishing rod bends really nice. Whoa. I said it should be some big ones in here. Ah, help would be so good. Someone could help. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just. <sighs> I don't camera switched off. Don't know how much, it, how long it filmed. Well, it barely fits in my net. It's a male, you can see a big. Oh, that is amazing trout. So if this one was so strong, what was another one? Let's quickly measure. Fifty nine centimeters. <sighs> what a fish. Fifty nine. Anytime you're ready. Wow. That is a proper, proper brown trout. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I lost one fish, uh, straight away next cast on the same lure, just smaller, same color pattern and uh, Jack Ultimate Tricorol uh, 55S this one, previous was 72S, next cast and I hooked into 59 centimeter trout, wow, and previous felt even stronger, what a bless. Oh yeah, from all this joy, even forgot to say 
you, you seen the big? It was amazing and teeth and everything. Oh. And uh, yeah, this rod can re raise a Spectra 61 LL. Coped, coped with this fish like nothing. I mean, <laughs> it did a really good job. Wow, wow, that was amazing. The rod did a really good job. <laughs> Could be the biggest of the season for me. Wow! <laughs> right, let's try to catch some more. I did fish all this part, nothing. And then here I think where it get deeper. I'm first time in here. So I guess it get deeper and was waiting for that for my lure. And after big fish like this, don't forget to check your line because it could be scratched into stones. And as well, we do have some teeth, some teeth. It could be scratched, but this one is okay. I seen that this rod can cope with big fish. Now it would be nice to check on something smaller. Well, don't take me wrong. I wouldn't mind to catch 10 of these size, that size, but I need to check how it holds small fish. As you've seen, very often is, most of the time is about finding spot. And here was very fast running water, main current. And Shao just had no time to react, is it real fish or not? So it has to take. And it did. Yep. Come on, come on. This trout is coming straight to me. Ah, so much fun to fight small ones as well. Oh, this one came off. Been a few hours. One big pulled out. Uh, fishing rod works nice, but it's not enough fish to, to tell anything more about this fishing rod. So let's go to another day. Oh, that was big. Fish on. Nice. <laughs> it's only a little one. <laughs> Quick catch and release. Yeah. Let's do a few casts. Uh, yep. Small one, but very good for a start. Woo! Oh, what's going on here? Oh. <laughs> I don't want there. to stay in my hands. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Still small. Probably the one would hit just a few casts ago. Yep, in a net. Oops. <laughs> 
I don't want to stay in my hands. <laughs> Yep, better, better one. Ooh, rod this, rod this so nice. Oh, no, I thought it's better, it's tiny, but false hook. Yeah, sorry, you live. Someone is watching us. Cows. Can't see where I'm going even with glasses. See someone on every stone, but not much. Yep. Nice. Took right near legs. Oh, that's a nice one. That must be 30 odd. Bigger than that, I think. He's not pulling much drag, is he? Oh, I tightened my drag. In a net. Oh, wow. What? That's 40. Somewhere here. 45. Nice. <laughs> okay. Just put my glasses off. Very dark. Forty-five. Okay, enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the rod is so good. <laughs> Should be for the money. Single barbless. I think for this rod, yeah, I need to keep drag tight. Yeah. What an amazing fish! Again on this lure. Rapala countdown, but Rod did so well on single barbless. I tightened drag properly and it took right near my legs. Rod did cope easily. Right, are you ready for more? Yes, man, let's go. Yeah. Fish on. Look how this rod works. I'm not shaking my hand, it's just blank. Blank works with fish. Oh. Came off just before landing. It's okay. Yep, another fish on the metal spoon. <laughs> Maybe that's for lure. Give a bit. Oh, I just gave a bit of line so I could put in a net and came off. But it was brilliant. And silver spoon, one side silver, another trout pattern. What's your name? Pure 5 gram Smith LTD. Oh, fish on. This one I think is better. Yeah. Oh. You see, I tightened drag. And for me, it's very hard to understand how big the fish is at this moment. 
Yeah, it's okay. I'm not that big. Yeah. Third in a row on a spoon. Whoa. Come on. Come here. Very strong. Not giving up at all. Yeah, in a net. Woo! Oh, this one has super, super bright dots. Such a beautiful fish. <laughs> okay, my friend, you go. Yes. <laughs> Maybe that's the time we just start feeding. You can, you know, twitch a bit. It'll go sideways. And uh, if you, if you reel faster, it's kind of like a spinner starts spinning around. Fish yeah. on. Nice! Spoon is going at this moment. Whoa! I'll give a bit of line so I could land without breaking my tip. In a net! This one a bit darker than previous. And here he goes. Yes. And today I kind of won one small fish to yeah. see how it does with the smaller ones. And so far it does really good. As soon as I tightened drag properly on this rod, stopped losing fish. Because it is flexible enough to compensate. Yeah. And I don't need I don't need a loose drag. Now come on, come on, look! Ah! 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 Seen from so far, wave coming! Yep. Oh, don't put in a stop. Easy. I just say, uh, please bite. And they do. Very friendly today, they are. Uh, oh, lure is out. Beautiful fish. And he's gone. <laughs> ah, oh, it's still here. I thought it, it came off. Yes! Wow! So yellow! Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a very beautiful color. Pristine looking trout. I like this one. Today, this one is my favorite by color. Bye bye. So many of these mayflies everywhere <laughs> oh, maybe was maybe we'll be on a camera oh 
come on, oh, come on, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time. <laughs> I came off. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Oh, nice couple dots. And the you wrapped around yourself a bit. What a dot. Somehow the hand and brain actually does the correct job to catch the fish. When you when concentrate, uh, overthinking probably, and lure goes too steady, maybe too the line is too straight or so, and stop thinking, walking, looking something else. Probably lure works a bit erratic, yeah. and then catch the fish. Came off? No! Why? <laughs> I still have a few centimeters. This shortcut wasn't the best, but it's done. <laughs> About what, three centimeters, five centimeters from top of my waders? Fish on! Ah, you know, just another one! No, it's really good today. I'm so, I'm so, so pleased. I spent so much money on this rod. And it actually holds the fish. Comparing to previous one, it's a huge difference. Thank you, little fella. Bye bye. Oh, I had a take. Come on. Yep. Ow. I had a take, it missed, and then it fell over the stone and grabbed it. Yeah. Fantastic fish. It must be lure for today. Yeah. Because anything else I tried, almost not working. And this lure just doing magic today. Like this time on Rapala green one. Yeah. Come on. Lots of power in this fish. The rod doing job fantastic today. Oh, come on, just not giving up. Yep. Ooh, that is, that is good one. What, 40-ish? 
another try and throw it. And you saw, <laughs> didn't measure, didn't want to squeeze too hard because it's not good. But yeah, everything on Smith Pure 5 gram fish, awesome fishing, awesome rod, awesome as well today. Woo, so happy. And this one was so strange. I felt hit over there. I brought my lure and I see that the trout still follows. My lure went over this rock and trout just hit straight after. Mission. Come to me. Yep. In a net. Oh, yeah. Hi. Sorry. How am I not okay? I tried a couple, couple lures, didn't work. Changing back. We'll see. Will I start getting bites again or not? Yep. Fish on. Oh, I'm catching, but not a big ones on the spoon. Oh, oh, took very greedy, deep. What colors? Woo! Bye bye, thank you! Yeah, sun is bright. Trying to cast over there where the shadows and hoping to get some fish. It was a while since last take, but I got one now. quite small but to be honest that's what I wanted to try today small fish to know exactly how this rod works with small fish because I already tested with the big ones oh well, 59 centimeter was really good fish to check how it's gonna cope and now yeah smaller ones Still brilliant, holding on, nice. And as well, mainstream comes by the side where the shadow, which is exactly what I need now. Yeah? Finally, yay! Oh, that's a nice one. Fish on! Woo. All of them getting kind of similar size. Come on, come on. Yep. 
Yeah, such a bright. Thank you. Pristine looking. Woo. And strange thing, on this, on this spoon we hit once. If we miss, we hit second time. Yep. Matt got another one. All day fishing, missing all fish. Change into Salmo Minnow. Five minutes, two fish. Oh, this one better. Nice, nice. So happy for you. <laughs> Feeling hard better. Work. <laughs> yes. It's been hard work. <laughs> and I haven't pressed record any of it. I completely forgot about this. <laughs> Next cast, another fish. Oh wow, this one good. This one actually good. This one really good. Go Matt, go Matt. Woo <laughs> Salmon minnow. You need this fish. It's a weird, it's a, it's a weird colour. I don't know if it's just a darker one. Come on. Got a zero. And the best fish of the day. Is it, it's a rainbow trout. Camera went off. Is that a rainbow trout? Oh, one second, let me take glasses because... Yeah, it is a rainbow trout. Yeah. Probably escaped from some stocked place. Oh, that's my first ever rainbow. Nice. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> first rainbow ever. I never caught in the river. Somewhere here, yeah? Oh, yeah. 50. 50. 50 centimeters. All day you were bragging about 50 centimeter mm -hmm. trout. Here you go. What? <laughs> She's gone. Oh, that's made it worth the hard work all day. <laughs> yeah. Yes. First rainbow as well. First rainbow, half meter fish today. I caught 45. Oh man, that feels good. That's made today worth it. A 50 rainbow, wow. Must be escaped from somewhere. Fuck. This one stopped. It was definitely a rainbow, wasn't it? Yeah. Because you could see colours. I'll just have one more cast, see if we can do three fish in three casts. I think you're pushing a bit. I know. <laughs> Never! Never! Small one, three out three, of three! Three, three! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. It's so gorgeous out of this river. They are. Kill spots. See, the reflecting sun is... Yeah, you something Can't like. really tell. Yeah, it's just too much. And off he goes. Ring. 
keep pushing your luck we'll see where we're gonna end up three out of three I think that's too much to ask for yeah. uh. <laughs> okay break time <laughs> that was crazy 10 minutes wow. Well, so that's my first ever rainbow and, and it's a 50, that's a big fish. And in the river. <laughs> yeah. Which, well, clearly it's not native fish, it just escaped from somewhere. Oh, I'm happy now. <laughs> ha! One more. Straight from under the bush, yeah? <laughs> two and two casts. Two and two casts. Oh, and I had to take. Yeah. Yep, good one. From under, under tree. Nice. Oh. Where are you? Oh, you are here. Look at this band in the road. Yep. In a net. Woohoo! This one swallowed lure very deep. That beautiful fish. It looks very lively. So he should be okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. In such a current. What a pleasure. And it's good. Yeah, it is okay size. Didn't even expect to catch you there. Come on. Yep. Whoa! The, look at this beautiful. That must be another about 40 centimeter. This one I think brightest of the day. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I guess off. <laughs> That's it for today. Yeah. Oh my god, that was insane day. Right, the reason was I didn't change the lure because I just wanted to test the rod. I think it did extremely good job. I caught small, big, as you've seen, uh, about one or two weeks ago I caught this 59 centimeter big trout and it held fish very well. I had fishing a couple, couple more times before and I was just losing fish after fish with this rod. But I had on a light drag today. I tightened drag and I didn't lose many fish. Very few, very few. Almost all of them pulled out. So yeah. If you're gonna buy this rod or have it, definitely tighten drag and you will have a lot, a lot of fun with it. Casting, super accurate. Just still need a bit of time to get used to fishing rod and then it will be spot on. So yeah, what yeah, else? Yeah, you're good. Uh, started off rough for me, it's past two hours <laughs> and I finally picked it up, but yeah, it's been a good day Alan. yeah and you got this rainbow trout yeah 50 centimeter rainbow nice first one. nice that was a beautiful fish so yeah it's been a great day hasn't it i'm happy with my rod i'm happy with a spoon i tried and we had a lot of a lot of fish hope you enjoyed you should because we did <laughs> right see you on another ones mm -hmm.